<coughs> okay, this is, um, I'm making my poor long-suffering husband cut open a sea urchin. And uh, we don't really have protective gloves, so he's supposedly going to try with a towel. This is with a towel. So this is a, a Pacific Ocean sea urchin, right? This is from Santa, um, Santa Cruz? I don't know where it's from. I got it from Maywa, and I asked the guy where it was from, and he said Sacramento, and I gave him a funny <laughs> look. <laughs> and, and he Wait. said, he said, uh, no, the person we buy them from, the distributor is from Sacramento. Okay, so, so this is a Sacramento sea urchin. You know, Maywa. it's from the, from the, from the Delta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and, I actually have never cleaned. I have actually never cleaned a sea urchin, but. Um, I, you know, there's always a first time Friday night after a nice day at work. Yeah. <laughs> Paul's cursing me. <laughs> so it's time oh. to uh, clean the sear. So, is it what we have to do... So, yeah, so you... So you have to... The, uh, we're trying to get closed, but mouth. it's like... It's, uh, I'm having and, a hard time focusing. Okay, okay yeah. So, so the, the mouth is right on top. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, sort see a of. Little yeah. Out there. Yeah. Okay. So the way you clean a sea urchin is to cut around the outside of the mouth, and then you make a little hole. It's like basically taking a little cap out. So we're gonna go in here, and um, so I can grab it without getting uh, spiked by the little spikes. And you go in here, and. Cut the top of the sea urchin. <laughs> Cut a little hole in the top here. Let's see. To make a little like a pumpkin top. And then pull out the that part of it here. I think we might get a little pair of tongs. Okay, and inside you'll see there's kind of a slimy stuff. Uh, I think the chopsticks actually work pretty good. There's his mouth parts right there. And uh, that's what he eats with. And inside is the monkey muck. And um, the monkey muck- No wait, are these males or females? Well- I heard it was like row from urchins. There's row and, and then, there's gonads. Okay. And so, so how do we tell if it's a male or a female? It's hard to tell, but I think my immense experience cracking open these urchins, I think, I think this is row. I don't think that's gonads. So hmm. there's row or, or gonad, depending if it's a male, and mm -hmm. then the black stuff is undigested uh, seaweed. And so, the next thing we're going to do is dump all of this into a bowl. Okay. So there we have... Oops. Ay ay ay. We have a mouth. And we have... In, see if I can get inside the urchin itself. And I can't focus. Huh. Hello. The next thing we're going to do is dump all this into a bowl, this whole schmoo, and uh, see this is a big healthy sea urchin. And uh, I think you need to put this one room. I heard you have to take a spoon or something to scoop you it. Dip it in here. Into some yeah. water? Yeah. Just regular water, or do you add some salt regular, to it? Regular water is what I heard. I don't know. And then uh, this is just junk. I'm going to toss over the side. Ew. It's not too windy. It blows back. Ah. ah. Okay. <laughs> and then we go in here. I'm supposed to take a little spatula, but I think chopsticks work well also. And you pull out the other little stuff. And clean out the tasty treats that are in here. Mmm. Tasty. Mmm. 
Uni. Oh. <laughs> that is some fresh, tasty uni in there. We hope. Tasty things there. Okay. Look just like the ones at Monterey Fish Market, except for they were half the price. Really? Discount. <laughs> Discount uni. Because that's what you want. Oh, geez. oh my wife. <laughs> I need some special tools. Thank God. Thank God we're in Julie Queen's kitchen. She has an uni spatula. <laughs> Which is required that you notice this is an OXO uni spatula that's specially made for uni removal. Kind of like need that special uni tool, uni spatula tool, to be able to get the uni separated from the, the either the gonads or the row of the uni separated from the the other parts. Mm, yummy. Uni ice cream. Okay, there we go. Mmm.